After a drawn-out period of weak activity, our sun appears in recent months to have been jolted from its deep slumber, blasting tons of plasma into interplanetary space. The flares, constantly monitored by ESA's SOHO mission and other international spacecraft, emanate from sunspots with enormous magnetic filaments rising from the sun's surface. Having travelled 150 million kilometres, this mass of plasma buffets against our planet's magnetic field. It is this interaction that cluster Europe's space fleet to the magnetosphere has been recording in 3D since 2000. Flying in close formation around our planet, the four identical spacecraft carry a suite of instruments to study the charged particles and Earth's electromagnetic fields in this region extending to around 50,000 kilometers above the atmosphere. Its observations have revealed a dramatic realm of invisible violence. In certain circumstances, magnetic whirlpools larger than the entire Earth bore into our magnetosphere, injecting venomous particles. As the sun's high-energy particles collide with molecules in the upper atmosphere, they lose energy, causing the molecules to glow and heat the atmosphere. The effects are well known, the shimmering curtains of red, green and blue light of the northern and southern auroras. The cluster quartet has been able to directly measure the acceleration of charged particles above the auroras. It has also observed black auroras, strange phenomena with dark empty regions, anti-aurora, where electrons are sucked from the Earth's ionosphere. One of the major highlights of the mission has been the first look at the heart of a magnetic process called reconnection. This occurs when magnetic fields collide, releasing energy and allowing previously separated plasmas of gas to mix. It is the key mechanism that allows the solar wind to penetrate the Earth's magnetic shield. Understanding the magnetic reconnection is a major quest in physics. It is believed to be a fundamental process that drives powerful phenomena, the jets of radiation from black holes, or the powerful solar flares of our own solar system. Understanding what sparks magnetic reconnection will also help scientists on Earth trying to harness fusion reactors to produce electricity, but thwarted by uncontrollable reconnection events. Better understanding the interactions in the magnetosphere has introduced a valuable new discipline of predicting space weather. Storms generated by the solar outbursts can seriously hamper, even knock out electrical systems aboard satellites and damage power grids on Earth. Cluster has provided a continuous solar weather watch that now allows contingency measures to be taken. The Satellite Quartet's decade of success is all the more resounding after the dramatic start of the mission. Years of work ended in the mangroves of French Guiana on the 4th of June 1996 when the first cluster spacecraft were lost in the catastrophic explosion of the first test launch of Ariane 5. But within 10 months, the decision to try again was taken, and like a phoenix, the satellites were rebuilt. Four years later, they were orbited in pairs by two Soyuz rockets, a tremendous achievement to relaunch the mission in such a short time. Rumba, Samba, Salsa and Tango, as they are affectionately called, have been circling the Earth in formation ever since, conducting their own style of a complex orbital dance. The four spacecraft are still in excellent condition and a further extension of the mission up to 2014 will be discussed by ESA committees in the next few months.